That's right. The sheriff told us a short time ago that Jerome Moore had been captured on McDowell Road in Jackson. So one of those escaped inmates now back in custody. The Hines County Jail has been plagued with problems over the years, including escapes. The sheriff says he takes full responsibility for this one. Another Hines County jailbreak. Two capital murder suspects broke through a wall of the Raymond Detention Center and escaped early Thursday morning. Got out by throwing a hole in the wall. And with that, like I said, I take full responsibility of that. Jailers discovered Jerome Moore and Malcolm Lanfair missing from their beds after a head count around 4 in the morning. Uh, we don't consider them armed, but they are dangerous. Deputies initially thought the two escapees were hiding in the catwalk above their bunks in Pod B. At the time, it didn't look as though they had scaled the fence or anything. But after we did a thorough search of the catwalk, they had to be gone, gone out of a fence somewhere. Moore was being held on capital murder charges for the 2015 killing of Carolyn Temple. Lanfair was arrested in connection with the shooting at the Red Apple Inn apartments that killed Christopher Catchings. Both are from the Jackson area. We have good leads on them right now, so hopefully they will be apprehended soon. And again, to, to re reiterate what was said earlier at the top of the piece, that one of those inmates is now back in custody, has been captured, 19-year-old Jerome Moore. The sheriff tells us they found a cell phone in the field next to the jail. They believe someone actually helped the inmates get away after they broke out. For now, we're live in Raymond, Ross Adams, 16, WAPT News.